Hello, Rafael. Hi, teacher. I like your How hair. Are you? How are you today? <laughs> Very good. Good. I'm glad to hear that. How was your day today? It was good, I think. In fact, I, I have a question uh, from the platform. Oh, okay. Okay. Is the last the last question um, is I don't remember the part, but I, I, I do remember the the sentence. We gotta translate it into a passive voice, but I don't know why it's is wrong. I don't know if can I write it on the chat so that you um, can see. Sure, it? yeah, that's fine. Okay, it, I can you tell me what it, what exercise it is? Sorry? Can you tell me what is the exercise? Oh, uh, the number, I don't remember what the number, but it's in the part the, of the midterm. And the only thing that we got to do is translate it to, into a passive voice. That's okay, okay. It's in the midterm do. then, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, let's do something. Let's do something, Rafael. Um, we're going to be looking at the midterm um, in a moment, like at the, um, the second half of the class. Would you be able to wait uh, for, for me to answer that question for you? Oh, okay. It's okay. Good. So um, when we are able to look at all the other information, I will answer that question. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. All right. Josue and Reese, welcome. Hi, hey, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, hey, teacher. Morning. How are you guys? I'm fine. Good. Good. Okay. Excellent. Are you ready for Black Friday? Uh, I don't know, really. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'm not ready. Really? Why not? Uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe there are many people. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there are a lot of people. I'm pretty sure about that. Um, probably not <laughs> well, as okay. much as before, but there's still going to be a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Now you can buy online. This is this is the other way. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Why? Because um, hi guys. Sorry, there was um. I don't know what happened there. I I got um. I got stuck. <laughs> Can you guys hear me right now? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes, each other. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm gonna hear. Hi, Mar uh, Maricela. Yes, I don't know what happened, actually, to be honest. I just, my, my Zoom kind of just went, you know, crazy. <laughs> but I'm back. Um, okay, so anyways, um, so so you were saying, Josue, about the Black Friday? In my case, uh, I'm not exciting. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't feel good with a lot of people, in, and the discount maybe are a little bit. I oh. think you don't think they're 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 worth all of the fuss, right? I guess that's what you're saying. It's not worth yeah. the fuss. Yeah, yeah. You're you're probably right. I I kind of agree as well. I actually don't like Black, I've never really liked Black Friday. I don't really think it's that great of a deal. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what about Luis? Are you ready for Black Friday? Cool. Cool, Luis. Me oh, sorry, you're right. Yes, you're absolutely <laughs> right. I'm sorry. Was, <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Yes, uh, Luis Mesa, how are, how are you? I'm um, you, uh, feeling for tomorrow. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready, but no for Black Friday. <laughs> no, okay. Why? When you're not planning to buy anything? Uh, this is, you're right. <laughs> Sometimes uh, you, you, you wait for, for this day. Mm -hmm. But um, uh, maybe you 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 thought uh, I need buy some 
some uh, I don't know on TV, a TV or 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 something like that. But um, this year is not my case. Okay, okay. So you don't have really anything ready, like anything in mind to buy. Okay, yeah, I understand that. Yeah, I I, I feel the same way. I really don't have anything to buy. I might be interested in something like on Cyber Monday. Cyber Monday, maybe. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Okay. And uh, Maricela, how are you doing today? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Um, sorry. What's the question? No, how are you doing? How are you today? Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm a little tired. <laughs> okay, okay. But I'm here, teacher. Okay. Good, that's the important thing, okay. With all the power. Yay, <laughs> yes, all right, okay. Um, yeah, all right, good. And what about Luis Enrique? How are you today? Hello, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. I'm fine, thank you. Good, excellent. Okay, excellent. And how was your day? Long day, short day? Um, I was... Uh, very very busy oh okay today a lot of the stuff work and diligence and so um a lot of the stuff in general good good sounds good all right excellent well that's good because if you are busy then it goes by quicker Right. Yes, actually, and I'm, I'm just arrived at home. Oh, wow. Wow. So, yeah, it was a very long day. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. What about Pamela? How are you, Pamela? Hi. Do you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Hi. Hi. I think it's my microphone. Is, uh, uh, it's it's a good day, I think. Well, more or less. Um, but but in it was a good day, and it was a little bit longer. And it was good, yeah. Okay, just that. Good. Ready for Black Friday? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Are you planning to buy anything? Yeah. We don't have a party, but. Sorry? <coughs> Are you planning we to don't, buy? We don't have a party. Oh, okay. Okay. I see. All right. Okay. Well, sounds good. All right, guys. Well, um, today, as I promised you yesterday, we're going to be finishing off section number three, and we're also going to be looking at the midterm, okay? So uh, the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to share with you, um, for, the, for the, um, the end of the section three, we're going to be learning, give me a second here, can you guys see the whiteboard? Can you see the whiteboard or you can't see it? Yes? Yes. Yeah? yeah? I can see the blackboard. Okay, yeah. perfect. Okay, good. Okay, so for this topic here, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be learning um, how to use the gerund, okay? But specifically, we're going to be learning how to use the gerund. Um, just give me a second here. Uh, we're, specifically, we're going to be learning how to use the gerund when we are um, describing how to do things. Okay. Um, so, for example, okay, so. Okay, 
Um, so we we are we're going to be talking about how to use. I don't know why it's not changing color. Oh, no, I know why it's not changing colors. Okay. All right. Now it's changing colors. Good. Okay. So we're going to be learning um, how to talk about um, how to do di different things in the present, in the past, and in the future. Okay. Um, so we can say describing, describing how to do hold on sorry how to do things okay. so uh we can do it for the present for the the future or for the past okay all right so let's talk about that Okay, so let's talk about the present. Okay. Um, okay so, how to, to do things in the present? Okay, let's, we, for example, we can say um, you could, for example, oh, hold on, sorry, you, let's just take out the full part. So we can, you can learn to buy, to play the piano. And then here we say, describe how you can do it. Okay. We can say, for example, um, buy, okay. So I'm going to say buy in a different color. And then I'm going to be using a gerund. Okay. And I'm going to put the gerund in an orange color. Okay. For example, you can learn, you could learn you could learn to play, play the piano by a practicing practice practice practicing okay by practicing and we're gonna make this a little bit shorter okay so by practicing, and then we're going to continue with the rest of the sentence. Um, let's change that to black. By practicing on a, um, what do you call that thing? Let me see, I forgot the name of this, thing, of, the, of the Instagram I'm thinking of. Um, Okay, it's called a synthesizer. Synthesizer. You guys know what a synthesizer is? You guys know that? No. You know what a synth synth uh, synthesizer is? Yeah, it's like a piano, but... Uh, with other oh, yeah. uh, with, with other um, sounds like uh, you can use uh, more electronic. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. 
yeah exactly yeah. it's more electronic that's exactly the idea and so it's a let's say it's a small piano it's a small piano and it's more electronic it has uh different sounds that you can make okay um uh, you, okay so that's that's an idea um another one Oh, sorry. Um, sorry, sorry. This is actually my mistake. I'm going to actually change this. I am so sorry. This is my mistake. Let me change that. It's not, this one's actually not the present, it's in the future. Okay, so this one. Um, so you could learn to play piano by practicing on synthesis. So that's in something in the future. Okay. Um, I'll give you another one. You uh, you may or you you. Uh, be able to, um, you will be able to become, you, know, you will be able to uh, become, become more fluent And then we're going to say, change the color by by okay. like talking. Uh, by talking, um, every by talking, uh, by talking every day, by talking every day, or talking to let's say talking to um to a friend. Um, every day. Let's a little bit smaller. I'll keep it like that. Every day. By practicing, okay, by, no, by talking to a friend every day. In the target language. Okay, so there you go. I'll put the image over here. All right. Um, okay, so that's about the future. Let's talk about the present. Okay, we can say, um, all right, this time. So basically, it, this is very, very simple. Um, if you already noticed, it, the structure itself is very straightforward. Uh, you don't need to um, say very much. And what it is is simply, we are going to be using by plus the plus one. What do we use? By plus one. Get on. Exactly, this is the gerund. It's very simple, it's that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start the sentence and then I want you to complete it, okay, with your own ideas. All right, sounds good? Change color. 
Change I think it's target, right? Oh, target yes. Language? Yes, I'm sorry. Yes, we're right. Yes, I will change it in a moment. Okay, there we go. I changed it to, to green. And now we're going to use this line. Okay, so present, and I'll change the word target. Okay, let's see. Target. There you go, target. Okay, so let's talk about the present. Um, we can say, I, um, let me see, hold on. I, Okay, so I have the first part of the sentence here. Okay, so I complete my daily work and then it's your turn. What are we going to say? I complete my daily work. What do you guys want to put after that? What's the word we're going to put it after that? We always have to put this word. What is it? By working hard, for example. By, okay. I complete my daily work. Okay, by. And you said what? Working hard. Okay. All right. Sure. That, that will work. Yeah. Okay. By working hard. Okay. Working hard. Okay, um, by working hard. Okay. Um, okay, good. I'll give you another, let's do another one. Um, I, I, no, I, Uh, hold on. Oh. Okay, the best way to um, learn, no, the best, see how I learned, yeah, I didn't see what you learned. The best way to, um, the best way to, I'm going to use the verb pick up. The best, word to, the best way to pick up a language fast. Do you guys understand what I mean by pick up a language? You know that phrasal verb pick up? Yeah. And I'm not talking about recoger, right? I'm not talking about that pick up. Okay. So do you guys understand what pick up means in this one? Not well, really. No. Um, so, uh, a captar teacher. In Spanish, captar. Kind of. Actually, the word. Sorry. Like grasp. Like get it. No. Yes, kind of. Pick up means to learn. It's another word uh, to learn. Okay. okay. So okay. pick up, you can say learn. Yeah. All right. 
Right. So the best way to learn, it's just, I just didn't want to use the word learn because I already learned it. I put it over here. The best way to pick up a language fast is, is what? By practicing every day. <laughs> okay. Okay, good. Okay. All right, so by, okay, so by, and then I said practicing, okay. Although we already used the word practicing, so maybe we can use another verb. Yeah. Okay, so by. In this case, not necessarily the, the preposition by, but right. We can just say uh, uh, practicing. Uh, mm -hmm. So the best way to pick uh, up yes. yes, Pamela? Uh, we can say the best way to pick up the language fast is the I can't hear anything. Pamela, you want to try saying that again? Yes, well. I think she's having trouble with the internet. Yeah. Um, Pamela, could you try that one more time? Because we couldn't hear that you very clearly. Are you there, Pamela? Yeah, I'm gonna write it. Okay, okay. Sounds good. That sounds like a good plan. Raphael, were you gonna say something? Yeah. I, what I was saying is that in that case that uh, since we have the verb to be is, in that case, is not necessarily the preposition by to say is practicing. Just, we can, we can say just practicing, right? After is, for example, the best way to pick up a language fast is practicing. We gotta say a uh, uh, by. Teacher, you are mute. Sorry, sorry about that. Um, yes, you're right. You know what, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna actually make this a little bit easier for, for this buy to be necessary. Um, just because I, I, wanted, I want to show you how important. Um, okay, so the best way to pick up a language fast is, and I'm gonna erase the word buy, I'm going to say, um, I'm going to say another word here. Oh, hold on. I don't know why. Is, there we go. Okay. Is not. Okay. So the best, the best way to pick up a language fast is not, and then we're going to use the word by, not by, um, not by, we're going to say not by, um okay let me let me show let me give you this one not by a hold on we're gonna do this orange not by a being shy but oh sorry 
divided by B in, I'm going to put this B in, in, in orange, and then we're going to say, not by, not by being shy, and, and, holding, holding back, Okay. Okay, so are you guys with me right here? This one, do we understand why? Holding back. Yeah, holding back. You guys understand holding back? Is that like you know what I'm going gonna... back? Huh? Is that going back? Or uh, back no, out? holding back is like retraerse. Like back out? Kind of. Mm -hmm. okay yeah so it's so the best way to pick up a language fast is not by being uh oh sorry so me comí una palabra hold on by being shy i got to put the word shy here by being shy Okay, but by being shy and holding back, I'm going to put this one over here, and this one also, I'm going to move it over here. Okay, there we go. All right, so the best way to pick up a language fast is not by being shy and holding, but back, and then we can say, but, and then we can see how it is. Um, but by... Teacher, uh -huh. another way to, to pick up a, a language fast is by language exchange partner. Sorry what, sorry, what did you say? Lang the best way to pick up a language fast is, is by language exchange partner. By, by exchanging partners? Language exchange partner. Oh, the, like in language exchange program. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's true. You're absolutely right about that. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. All right. So a person who wants to, to learn Spanish and in in this case we want to speak English. It's a language exchange. You're absolutely right. Yes, exactly. So but um we're gonna make this a little bit shorter because um it's already becoming very long. So the best way to pick up a language fast is not by being shy and holding back, but by um make by um by what should I say? By um, going ahead, okay. By going, by going, I'm gonna put this in, okay. By going ahead, going ahead and making. No, by going ahead and uh, by going ahead and oh, there's going to be a lot of ing's in this one. <laughs> okay, because I have lots of different ideas here. Okay, so by going ahead and um, and talking. Okay, and talking. Um, or by going ahead and uh, not, I'm going to say, and not, and not, 
And I'm just going to continue. I'm going to continue using the word uh, be in. Okay, so not be in over here. Not be in. And then we're gonna continue, we're gonna stop here with the idea here, not being afraid to make mistakes. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So there you go. Um, so these are I've, I've given you a lot of ing forms in this one. Um, uh, do you see over here that it's um, Hold on, let me just change this to, I don't know. Why is it not changing to black? Okay, so there you go. So the best way to pick up a language fast is not by being shy and holding back, but by going ahead and not being afraid to make mistakes. So, um, and this is true, like uh, if you are afraid of making mistakes, you're never gonna learn language because you're going to be, you're gonna go, oh no, I don't wanna say anything because I can be afraid. I can make it, um, I can make the sentence correctly and then people are gonna laugh at me, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so now with this one, I want to show you something. First of all, there are two things I wanna show you. First of all, is that when we use the word not, the word not is going to go before the by. Okay, so if you notice over here, not by being. And in this case, we do not use the word by. And the reason is because we already used it before over here. Okay, so we can eliminate the word by. Okay, but if it was there, it would say, and not by being. The second thing is that over here, notice we don't have to again put the word by because we already used it in this, this part of the clause. Okay, so we're not going to say it's not by being shy and by holding back. We're not going to say that. I'm just going to say by being shy and holding back. Does that make sense? Sorry, could you repeat that again, please? Okay, I'll repeat. So the last part. The last part, uh, right here where it says folding, I am not going to say again the word by because oh, yeah. I already had the word by in this clause. Yeah. Right. So we we don't we're not going to say is not by being shy and by holding back. Yeah. We're not going to say that. We're going to eliminate the word by and we're just going to end up with the ing form. Yeah. But in all of them, we use the the structure by plus the gerund, oops, change that, by plus the gerund, and if we're gonna use the word not, it's gonna go after the word by. Okay, so we say by working, and then in this case, by going, okay? And if I said, like I said, if we're gonna use the word not, we're gonna use it before the word by. So by, sorry, not by being, we're not gonna say by not being. Because you're going to say not by being, or simply we're going to be using um, the, the the gerund if you already used the word by before, like in this case. And in this case, we're just we're using the word not. Okay, all right. So that's how we can do it. And finally, I'm just going to give you one more sentence uh, for the 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 past because um, of time. I'm just going to write one sentence because we have a lot of this. The idea is pretty much the same, right? Okay, so in the past, we can use um, oops. In the past, we can say um, I became debt free. Actually, I'm going to put 
Step free. Step free. I became debt free. Do you guys understand debt free? No. No. Do you guys understand what a debt is? Do you, do you understand debt? Libre de deudas. Yeah, exactly. Debt is when you ask for money. Okay, and you have to give that money back. Okay, so debt free means that you don't have any more debts, right? So, yes, as uh, Maricela said, it's libre de deudas. Okay, all right, by, so I became debt free by, um, eh, by being, or becoming, let's see, becoming, because we already used the word become, being, by becoming financially disciplined. Okay, and there you go. So I became debt free by becoming financially disciplined. All right, and that's hard, right? <laughs> that's probably one of the hardest things to do, right? Okay, so there you go. So the, all of these, notice how they all work. Um, we're always going to use the word by and in, in, to introduce it and the gerund, right? And in case we are using the word not, then in that case, the word not is going to be go before by. And in the case that we're using two verbs, then we're going to be eliminating the word by in the second verb, like this one right here. And the same thing goes with this one. In this one, we do not use the word by because we used it over here, okay? Any questions? Teacher. Yeah. What I wanted to know it was if, for example, in the last one of present, is it's not necessary to put the preposition by, right? Because we have the verb to be, or it is necessary. Because if I say something like, the best way to pick up a language fast is being shy and holding back, just in that case, in the others is is all is, is necessary. I think I don't know. Sorry, I, could you repeat the question again? For example, if you see, in all of the others, in all of the other sentences, we don't have verb to be. But in the last one of the present, we have verb to be. For example, the best way to pick up a language fast is. So my question is. Is it necessary to put the preposition in that case, the preposition by in that case, or we can also, we can just say it is not being shy. Using, uh, using them like a uh, gerund? Oh, um. Yes, if, yes, that would apply if it only, if the sentence went only up to here. Yes, it is it's just, it's just in that, right? Yeah, but it, it, since it says here, but blah, 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 it continues, then in that case, this is necessary. Okay. Yeah, because what you're saying is the word by is saying por esos medios, like that, that way yeah. of doing things, right? Okay, so it's like saying, it's like saying la mejor manera de aprender un idioma rápido no es por medio de ser, um, va a ser tímido y sí, retraerse, yeah. sino por medio de, um, de mm -hmm. seguir adelante y no tener miedo a, a, a cometer errores. Yeah, but if I say only it's not been, it would be like, no es siendo tímido y echándose para atrás. Right? It would be like that, right? If I just say it, it's not being. Yes, like I said, but if only if it was uh, up to here. Okay, but yeah, because yeah, we have yeah, the of rest of the sentence, yeah, it's necessary. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. of course. Uh, okay, all right, good. Okay, so guys, that's it. All right, so my now what we're going to do, we're going to dedicate it the last few minutes there to be able to talk about the midterm. So tell me a little bit of the questions that you have 
about the midterm. What problems have you been having with the midterm at this moment? I know, I know that um, Raphael, you had a question. Yes. My okay. question was about this sentence. I'm gonna write it on the chat. Do, could you tell me what, what exercise it is so what? that I can take a look at it? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna okay I'm gonna I'm gonna put the platforms. Okay. And let me see here. Um I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you um what point is. Okay. Let me check here. Because I, I think I was I was um good it was good, but uh, I don't know if what is the mistake that I'm making. Okay. Yeah, uh, that's why that's why we're doing this, right? Yeah. Is is the section B of the midterm where it says complete the sentences? What, what the section? Part is section B. Okay. Section um, B. Yes, is the part number Number three, exercise number four. Three, number three and four. Yeah, part number three and exercise number four. Okay. It's the only that I'm missing. Okay, just give me a second. All right. We're gonna be checking all of the, all of the answers Okay, so Marisa, I will answer those questions in a moment. Just give me a second there to look at the. So you said that it was number three. Yeah, part three. Oh, number part three. Four. Okay, yeah, I got it. Part three, number four. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so it says, so the instructors say rewrite the sentence using the passive and the prepositions. So remember, passive and prepositions; those are the ones that we're going to be using. Um, a by. Uh, because of, um, through, yeah. due to, et cetera, et cetera, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so, um, and so in number four, it says, disease and family are causing suffering for poor people around the world, due to. Okay, so what yeah. did you write? I write, well, I write. Um, uh, you wrote? I'm, I'm gonna say uh, because I I, I wrote uh, two that okay. I think uh, that could be that are could be um, they could be uh, good. Okay. The first one is, for example, um, suffering for poor people is being caused due to disease and famine. Okay. And the other is, um, suffering is being caused for poor people due to disease and feminine. Famine. Oh, famine. Okay. Sorry. The problem that you have there is that you're taking the wrong, the wrong object. In the sen okay. in the, sen the original sentence, the subject is disease and famine. Famine, right? Uh -huh. The verb is are causing. Uh, Hold on. Give That's interesting. Okay, I'm just, I'm looking at the answer. And what's interesting about the answer. What 
what's interesting about the answer is that it's not in the passive. <laughs> it does use the word due to, but it's not in the passive. It's a, actually in the, in the active voice. Okay. Um, yeah, it's actually in the active voice. All right, so in, in this case, I'm going to, to, to okay, so, so number four, first of all, so even though it says there that it has to be in the passive, it's actually not in the passive. It's actually in the active voice. So it means that the person is doing the action, right? Well, yeah. And um, and the other one, the other thing is that um, the subject that we're going to start with is poor people around the world. People, but in that case, well, well, at least for me, I don't think that people. At least what I read is not people is causing or that. Yeah. So. Um, but they are the ones that are feeling it. That's why they're their subject. Mm -hmm. That's why that it's a the active voice because the people are the ones that are feeling it. Okay, so, so start, but start how, with the subject with poor people. Okay, so so guys, uh, the other ones seem to be okay. Yeah, the, I don't have a problem with the other ones. Only yeah, the that. other ones seem to be okay, but the, for some reason, number four is actually in the. Um, in, is not in the passive voice, it's actually the active voice for some reason. Okay, so just start, try, try that sentence starting with poor people, blah, 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 continue with that and use the, the active voice, okay? The active um, voice? The active voice. Oh, so I'm not going to use the passive voice? Not for that sentence, that's what I'm oh telling you. That, that's the part that ah. That is um, interesting because all of them are in the passive voice. Yeah. In fact, the, 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 the indication says that. Instructions. Yes, the instructions say that. I know, but it's not. <laughs> okay. 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 Uh, Maricela, I need. Oh, okay. Wonderful. You already gave me that. Okay. 1.2. Okay. But um, uh, what we're looking at, Maricela, is the is the um okay sorry maricela are you talking about 1.2 the section or are we talking about in like in the midterm the section teacher okay all right well today we're, we're, today we're going to be just concentrating on the midterm okay and, and then I'll answer any other questions that we have. But right now I need to concentrate on the midterm. Okay. Okay. I, I so if we have time, we will look I at don't be the there. <laughs> Okay. But the midterm, anybody have any other questions about the midterm? No? Okay, so guys, um, strategically speaking it's so it's it's more important let's say strategically speaking it's more important to do the midterm than to do the other sections simply because the midterm is worth 30 percent of your grade so that means you really really might have to make sure that you're doing the midterms and you're doing the final exam. Because the final exam in the midterm, like the, the final, the midterm is worth 30% and the final exam is worth 40%. Okay, so if you, if you got, let's just imagine you got 100% on the midterm and 100% on the final exam. Right there, you already have 70% of your grade just between those two, 70% would be great. You don't have to do anything else. I'm not saying not to do anything else. I'm just saying, I'm just saying that, that the percentage is so high that it's so important for you to do the, the, the midterm and the final exam. The other ones, the other exercises, what they're gonna do is help you to do well on the midterm, to do well on the final exam. 
So that's why my suggestion is really work hard on the midterm, okay? Um, probably, like if I were me, this is just me, if I were me, I would be going side by side. So if in the midterm, to give you an example, if in the midterm, let's see, just give me one second. I'll see what, what are the sections in the midterm. Okay, so this is, like I said, this is just me, but this is an idea that might help you. So in the midterm, we have the topics are, okay. Um, okay, so we have a, the listening, completing the sentence and then we have very oh. nice I've lost my page here just give me one second Okay, so the midterm. Okay, so we have the midterm has complete the sentence, and we have um, parts with um, um, okay, so we had. For example, in the first part, um, we, we it was the one where we used the past part the past participles as adjectives, right? So, if it were me, when when we were doing that topic, I would go directly to the midterm and start reviewing that. Okay, so I would use it like a review. Um, after I finished the the exercises there, I would review them. So go like two and two together so that you guys can remember a little bit better. Does that make sense, what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes, teacher, it's a good advice. Yeah, or for example, um, when, when number part th number three, it says um, to use the, the passive with the, the preposition. So when we were learning that, I would go like after finishing all the exercises from that section, I would go to the midterm and finish that section there, right? And then we had rather and prefer, which we saw yesterday. So yesterday I would have done the exercises and maybe today review and do the re that section of part four, right? Okay, so that's just an idea. Like I said, this is my personal um, opinion of how it would probably be best for you guys, because in the end, the final exam, the final, um, exam and the midterm are the parts that have the most um, percentage. And if you do well on them, you will be able to um, get a very high grade, right? So that's just something that you guys can try, right? Anything else you guys want to ask me? About the midterm? No. No? Okay. Um, okay. Uh, let's, let's, let's use this time then. Uh, I'm going to quickly um, give the answer there for um, Manisela's question. Um, so let me see. So one point. One point what? 1.2, right, you said? So in 1.2, you were having problems with um, number three, right? Okay, so it says, if you need to learn a new skill, would you prefer to blah, 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 okay. All right, let's check that out.
Sorry, guys. I went to the wrong one. I went to 1.12, not 1.2. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, um, right, so that's number number three you're having problems with. Okay, so let's look at number three. The table, no. I'm lost. Oh, okay, the last one, the last side. Okay, I got it. All right, so in 1.2, it says, the table looks pretty dirty. The wood, mm -mm, two, blah, 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 okay? So in that case, what we're gonna be learning, we're gonna be using here, um, we're gonna be using the word scratch, which is a parenthesis. And all you gotta do with this one is use the verb to be, and scratch in the past participle. So are you, what's the verb to be in that we're gonna be using? Well, the wood is singular, right? So what form of be are you gonna use? Base form. Okay, uh, okay, this was singular. How do you use the single singular of the verb to be? Is. Exactly, so you're gonna use is. And then what's the past participle of scratch? Scratched. There you go. That's the answer. But uh, just just, just. The answer. Just the okay. Answer. Okay, okay. Okay. Right. I understand. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then um, I think the the I think one point eleven teacher, I hear that. Yeah, and the I last think, one, I don't, I don't understand. I really. Think, yeah, I think the problem with one point two is that you were writing the whole sentence. Yes, so, yes, I understand. Yeah, so you just have to. I, yeah. I'm gonna try. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, thank you. And then what was the other one you said? One point eleven. One point eleven. Okay, let's try that. Is uh, listening. Listening. Okay. Okay. What's the answer? What's the pro sorry? What's the exercise? Okay. So number number three. Sorry, no. Number two, two point one, and three. Right. Well, three. You're gonna try it. Okay. So. Um, I think the spelling is the problem, okay? Uh, the spelling for number two is L-U-G-G-A-G-E, luggage. Luggage, which is equipaje, okay? So you, I, I, I think you understood the answer, you just didn't spell it correctly. Okay. Yes, yes, luggage and um, suitcase. Yeah, exactly. Fish. That's what it means. Exactly. Suitcase. But um, okay. it's spelled L-U-G-G-A-G-E. Okay. Um, huh. And let's see. Number number 2.1. Um, just put the word the before it. That's it. Instead of just saying wheels, just put the word the wheels. Okay. Okay. And number three, well, number three, you got it wrong because you didn't, you didn't do it. But um, do you have an no, idea? I don't understand. Oh, you didn't really? understand it? No, <laughs> no, no, no. Mm -hmm. I don't understand the word. I don't know the word okay. that he said. Uh, I'll tell you what the word in Spanish is, and then you can look it up. Okay? Sounds good, Marisela? No, sorry. 
I'm going to say the word. I'm going to tell you the word or the answer, but in Spanish. Uh, okay, you okay. Look it up. Tell okay. me, teacher. It, it would be. Um, it, oh my goodness! I can't. I can't <laughs> uh, hold on. Uh, electrodomésticos. That's what it be in Spanish. Okay. 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 And then. Um, and the other one is, I guess, 3.4, right? Right. Okay, 3.4. Number two. 3.4, just give me a second. 3.4, and you're having problems with... Number three, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, number three, let's see. Um Three point four. Is this three point four? Are you sure? Oh yeah, I guess so. So all. No, I'm lost. I have another. Oh, okay. There are two threes. Uh -huh. 3A and 3B. So your problem, you're having problems with 3A. Okay. So yes, teacher, it's 2.4. Yes. Yeah. So if you need to learn a new skill, would you prefer to attend a class or, and then remember, after prefer, we always use uh, to infinitive, right? To attend, right? Right. Um, and in this case, uh, the, the we're, we're using, okay, so what's the infinitive of half? What's the two infinitive of half? The two infinitive. To have, to have. Exactly, just to have, but you're not going to repeat the word to. Why? Yes. Because we already use the word to. We use it with prefer to attend. So we're not going to repeat the word yes. to. Yes. It's going to say to attend a class or have. Exactly. Or but have. I try, teacher, because I remember the class. Yeah. And it's wrong. Has. Uh, later, I put has. To has, have, to have, have to. <laughs> I try to hit a lot of things because. Okay, okay. But you, you remember now, right? You remember yes. now what we saw in class yesterday. Remember when, when I, when I, uh, I was doing. Right. And, and okay. but, but. Yeah, that's the... okay. Sometimes we forget. Okay. That's okay. okay. That it happens. Okay. It happens. I understand. There you go. Okay. Okay, okay, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you. you're welcome. You're welcome. So guys, always ask, right? Like ask me questions. I will be more than happy to help you, but you need to tell me, you need to tell me, um, you know, teacher, I need help with this exercise. And don't just send me the, um, the, the picture, because if you just send me the picture, I have to go through each one trying to figure out where it is. So if you could just tell me, section blah 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 and i will be able to go directly and help you okay and i i'm and the way i'm going to help you is not by just giving you the answer because you know that's easy just to give you the answer but you know you're not going to learn anything if i just say ah oh, the answer is this okay you're going to write it down you're going to get 80 percent on the platform but are you going to learn probably not so what i'm interested in is to be able to ask you 
um, get you guys to um, to understand why that's the answer. And I see Pamela uh, wrote something in the chat. Um, yeah, we already did it. <laughs> oh, we already did it. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's the one. Okay. Okay, perfect. All right. So I've answered everybody's questions so far. So far, so good? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Thank you. All right, guys. Yes. Well, um, it's been a pleasure having you guys again. And I have, hope you have a wonderful weekend. And if you're going to go out uh, to the Black Friday, just, you know, be careful. Uh, you don't want to get end up being sick. Um, on that, you know, getting sick that day. So be very, very careful. If, you know, try not to be around so many people, um, you know, and um, just, just keep safe, okay? Okay, guys, take care and see you Monday. Okay, see you Monday. Thank Good you night. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. See you Monday. Nice weekend. Bye. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night.